Today we're making coconut bacon. And whether you're vegan or you just wanna lighten up a little bit, coconut bacon is an excellent thing to keep in your kitchen. You can make a big batch of it and just keep it in your freezer and it will last for months. We want this to actually taste like bacon, so we have to flavor it a lot. Otherwise, it's just toasted coconut. To start, we'll preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll start with one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. I like to use grapeseed oil because it's a really neutral tasting oil, but you can use any oil that you want. And then one tablespoon of real maple syrup. It gives it that really nice sweet bacony flavor. And make sure that you use real maple syrup. Next, we'll do two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Bacon is very smoky, so we of course want smoky spices. So two teaspoons. And buy fresh smoked paprika because if it's been sitting in your cabinet for six months or a year, it's not going to be very flavorful. And next, three quarters of a teaspoon of smoked sea salt. So it depends on your sea salt. This is a really coarse salt. Smoked salt adds wonderful flavor and bacon's of course salty and smoky. So we'll do, that's a half a teaspoon and then a quarter teaspoon more. You can adjust the salt to your taste. It'll depend on what salt that you're using. And this is a really interesting ingredient. This is liquid smoke. I think if you can find one without preservatives and without MSG, it's perfectly fine to use a couple of dashes of it. And it really goes a long way to making your coconut bacon smoky. So just about maybe three dashes of that. Then whisk this together. Get it really nice and combined. This smells like bacon already. It's so smoky and you can smell the maple. All right, super simple. Then just add your flaked coconut. This is two and a half cups of flaked coconut. And then very gently mix this together because you don't wanna break the coconut, of course. Just go slow and make sure that it's all covered and all combined. And when you mix this, go really slow and be very gentle because you want big pieces of coconut bacon, you don't wanna break it. So get it all mixed and then give it a taste. It should definitely taste like bacon and this does. Now you'll wanna put this on two baking sheets because if it's too close together, it will steam. So spread it out onto two baking sheets. And I've lined this with parchment paper just for easy cleanup. Make sure to get it all out. You wanna get all of the flavor. Don't leave any of that behind. All right, then the easiest thing to do is just to use your hands and spread it out. All right, into the oven at 325 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Flip it once halfway through and keep a close eye on it so it doesn't burn. It will be nice and crispy and taste just like bacon. And here it is. This looks perfect. Look how crispy it is. It just breaks right in half. Now to taste it. Can you hear how crunchy it is? Very good. So to store this, you wanna store it in a freezer bag and just put it right in the freezer. You can take it straight out of the freezer and eat it. It's perfect for salads, if you wanna make a BLT sandwich, just anywhere you would use bacon. So just fold your parchment paper and slide it right in. If you guys want more recipes like these, head on over to my blog and subscribe to my email list. I'll see you next time.